So hello everyone, welcome back. And today's class is going to be a very interesting one, but also you know, take it. You'll get to know. My name is Tarun. Video editing has changed my life, and it can change yours too. You know, Tarun speaks quality, quantity. So hello everyone, welcome back. And in this class, we are going to discuss about some of the most used effects. Like when I sit to edit, when someone like any other person sits to edit a YouTube video or something like that, what are some of the most used effects? See, these are some of the most simple, simple, simple edits. But these can actually turn something which looks very, you know, kind of noobish to a pro level, right? So you can either like use them in every video that you are using, or you can just make it like a preset and just copy paste, right? So with that being said, let's get started. The first one is a drop shadow. So let me actually show you like where do I use drop shadow. You can use drop shadow in multiple things. You can use them on objects. You can use them in you know uh, an entire frame. You can also use them on uh, you know PNGs that you use. You can also use them on text effects and all of those things, right? How to do it? Very simple. Imagine we have a let's take a color mat, right? Let's take a color mat. Okay, any color is fine with me. I'll just go white. I'll just name it white. White Agia. So let me just grab it. And here we have the white color thing, right? So now what I do is uh, let me have like a text on it, right? So what does the text mean? Text is taken. I even show you what I've typed here. Let me actually reveal. Okay, you can actually see it here, anyways. Yeah. And then what you do is you go to FX and you search for drop shadow, right? First one is a drop shadow. You just need to drag and drop on everything that you use, right? So just play around with this drop shadow a lot because this is one of the major things that a lot of people are missing in your assignments, right? Just play around. This will take like a couple of minutes more to add it in the entire uh, graphic or the entire video, but it will actually look prettier, man, right? So with that being said, here's one more thing that I want to show you, right? The second one is alpha glow. What is it called? It's a glow. It's a it glows, right? Let me show you how to do it. So imagine you have this term speaks, right? I'm just duplicating it. I'm just getting it to the right. So once this is here, this is how it is. Now, once this is there, you can again go back and search for something called alpha glow, right? This glow effect. You just drag it onto this, this thing and you'll see this. So that is it. This is the second effect that you can use. Use this on your footages because it actually makes a difference. So just play around with this drop shadow on multiple things. You can also use the same glow or drop, drop shadow on text, on backgrounds. You can make the entire footage, you know, come, you know, uh, maybe like scale, scale it down to like 80% so that it is like this and then apply like a drop shadow on it, right? Or you can also use it on PNGs and different, different things, right? So these are the two things that I actually use in almost, almost all my videos, right? So next up, then we have something called the ultra key. So you might have already known, how do we remove this green screen? By using ultra key. How do you do it? Again, same thing. Whenever you have something green, green in color, for example, I'll, I'll actually make a green color here, right? So just see these things are also interesting. Maybe I'll go here. Uh, I can also, you know, crop it, but I'll just select this color mat. Maybe I'll make it green, right? I'll name it green. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to have like a green color on the screen, right? So once this is done, I'll just go here. So this is what we have, right? Ooh, right. So now, as you see, Tarun Speaks is not visible because green color is actually covering it. What can I do here is you go to Ultra Key. Ultra Key. See, this is a proper green screen tutorial that you have done a lot of times. But I've added this Ultra Key over here because I personally use Ultra Key at least once here or the other place in a video, right? So just get the Ultra Key. And then you can actually select the color. So this is the third thing which I wanted to discuss, which is the ultra key, right? So you can also use this to remove solid green colors like this or green screens like this, or you can actually do a lot of things with this one. Okay. It's not just green. You can actually remove any other color also. So just try out ultra key with different backgrounds, 
by changing you know by keyframing the colors right so once that is done the next thing which i wanted to discuss is gaussian blur you go here and you search for blur gaussian blur there are different types of blur there's directional blur gaussian blur so what i want you to do is try out with this blur wala thing on a solid color the gaussian blur doesn't do anything gaussian blur only acts only shows its effect on the things which have details details like for example an image has details in it a video has details in it a text has details in it so wherever details are you can use gaussian blur to blur it down i use gaussian blur blur at multiple places what you can also do is you can pair up alpha glow with gaussian blur right and do very 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 like some of the interesting things right see why i'm explaining you all of these things is because whatever the video that you're editing right now i want you to try out these things right so now now again what happens see all these are experiments that you can do for yourself right how do you learn in your school how do you you know know that potassium when added to water blast look not potassium sodium yeah but anyways how do you know all of this because you read about them then you do experiments and all of those things so now with that being said we have just discussed about drop shadow alpha glow we have also discussed about ultra key how can you use it in different ways and then we have discussed about gaussian blur right now let me tell you something interesting something called as warp stabilizer what warp stabilizer what does a warp stabilizer mean simple any shaky footage that you have right i don't have like a shaky footage right now but i'll try to find out a shaky footage oh uh, yeah i think i found it so basically here you have a footage in which uh someone is watching a clip right and it's actually kind of shaky 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 what you can do is you can go to fx and then you can see search for warp stabilizer right once this is there drag it onto the footage right now you look at the footage it's much smoother it is much much see imagine just was this this is how it looks like with the warp stabilizer on and this is how it looks like without warp stabilizer right so this is the next effect which i want to discuss about there will be so many footages in which i have a moving shot how do i stabilize it simple use a warp stabilizer on it so once this is done now i have something more interesting to tell you again i use this a lot of times and this is not a like not a proper effect but this is something called mode blend mode let's let's see what can we do in a blend mode like using a blend mode maybe here we have this so i'll get this tarun speaks well of this over here right this is how it is it's just a normal texture here right but now if you actually go into blend mode it's in opacity let's see what actually happens when we do multiple things right for example normal mode it looks like this then dissolve looks kind of like this darken it looks something like this and then color burn lighter lighten basically what lighten does is it lightens the source like right? for example i don't know how to explain it but yeah you get the point so i'll actually show you like in which video I, that i actually used uh, this blend wall effect and people in the comments were like tarun how did you do that how did you do that and right right for example just watch this thing right the text Let, see how it changes colors it gave me the opportunity to take a step back See when there's black color in the behind, it is turning into white, and when it's normal, it's in yellow color. And allow me to work on it. How do I do it? Simple. Play with the blend mode, right? That's all that you have to do, and that's all that you can do to get this wall effect, right? So finally, before ending this lecture, I want to talk about one last thing, which is a basic 3D. What is a basic 3D? So this effect can turn all of your 2D elements into a 3D space, right? For example, imagine you have a flat wall, right? You can add like a text on it. But imagine the wall is not flat; the wall is curved like this. How do you add text on that wall? You do it by basic 3D. So imagine instead of this Tarun speaks, I want the Tarun speaks to be there on this surface, like the bottom surface. So what do I do? Is just go here, basic 3D. it's in perspective just get it onto this and here you'll be able to see 
मल्टीपल थिंग्स लाइक स्विवल टेल्ट डिस्टेंस टू यू नो ऑल ऑफ दिस थिंग्स राइट फॉर एग्जाम्पल सो हाउ डू आई डू इट सिंपल आई विल जस्ट टर्न इट अबिट लाइक दिस यस एंड देन मे बी टेल्ट इट थोड़ा सा नीचे यस एंड देन गेट इट डाउन ओके मे बी आई शुड इन डब टेल्ट इट सो मच सो अगेन टेल्ट इट बैक तरन टेल्ट इट बैक मे बी आई ऑल्सो हैव सम रोटेशन यस राइट मे बी आई डिक्रीज द साइज और आई कैन एक्चुअली uh have like the distance to image yes then i'll go down oh i can't go down more ah that's on so wrong but anyways so once this is done i can actually change the anchor point and then go deeper yes okay now what i have to do is maybe i'll change the size to 80 or something like that yeah and then we have this so now what you can see is This Tarun speaks is actually on the laptop, right? What you use basic 3D is not just for text, but also for PNGs, for anything. It's it's the uh, people say this, right? The world is your playground. Go play, kid, something like that. So similarly, the Premiere Pro is your playground. Go play with it. <laughs> Bad joke. I know. I'm very sorry. So with that being said, that is all for today's class. We have learned about drop shadows. We have learned about Gaussian blur. we also discussed you know how can you use ultra key and the keyframes inside the ultra key and then we have discussed about gaussian blur warp stabilizer blend modes different types of them just experiment with them and then finally basic 3d right so now what i want you to do is try to inculcate all of those things in every single video edit that you do because these things actually make a normal video into a pro looking video got it so with that being said you will have more number of fx i guess as an extra class So that's a special gift from my side. We'll see you very soon. Bye bye. Love you.